Namaste, peace, love, and light. Welcome, Powerhouse Tarot. I'm Energy. Okay, so this reading is going to be a pick a card, okay? Card one is the goddess Kali. Card two, the goddess Isis. Card three is Lilith. Take a few deep breaths. You know, connect with the cards and really just try to figure out which uh, card is going to give you the best message. Okay. As you sit here and try to connect and find the message or the card that has your message. <clears throat> I'll give you a second to do that. Be blessed. So, while you guys have been giving us a moment here to kind of pick uh, your card, I'm going to start with card one. Card one is Kali, the goddess Kali. All right. So, we're connecting to the messages for those of us that picked card one, the goddess Kali messages. Those of us that picked card one messages. Those of us that picked card one messages. I know that for a fact, Callie represents destruction and she's so powerful that even if she hadn't realized one day when she was destroying things um, that she was stepping on her husband, she would have just kept going, right? So I feel like Callie is trying to uh, convey a message about, you know, taking our time so that we don't destroy parts of us that we need in order because that's how powerful we are you know we, we're so powerful sometimes we don't realize that and a lot of times we could have been giving people our power I feel like Kylie wants to remind us that our power is ours and it's in us in making positive judgment positive calls in life you know where we start to receive um The happiness, where the happiness can begin from what we have destroyed, I feel like, you know, when it comes to um, some of our darker sides, our darker parts, this is what I was talking about with the shadow report too. Um, <clears throat> so people who pick pile one, car one, this is definitely a message that goes back to that message. So y'all make sure y'all check that message out, the shadow report on the channel. But it was basically about, you know, loving all aspects of yourself, loving all parts of yourself, you know. And I feel like that's really, people that pick car one, that's really what you're kind of going through, you know. Learning how to fix what you might have messed up and destroyed and realize like maybe, hey, I did need these things, you know, right. Because obviously Kylie married her husband for a reason, right. I mean, it, why would why would a God mar marry somebody, right? So, you see what I'm saying? Like, if there was somewhere in your life where you felt like it was something that you might have gotten rid of that now you find yourself saying, okay, maybe I want to put that back in my life because maybe if I felt like it, it served an important purpose, right? And those type of things, I feel like it's that karmic. Uh, lessons that are coming back for some of us it's going to be um i'm hearing something about old employment going back into the field of old employment some people it's going to be new employment those of us who pick 
uh, pile one. Some of us are saying repairing a strategy. We're destroying the old strategy. How we used to approach the shadow self. The old self. Not really the old self, but more like the shadow self. The side of ourselves that we don't show to the world. So those of us that take pile one will definitely be discovering how we can address some parts of our shadow aspects within ourselves. I mean, this may be di you may be discovering that in different ways for each and every one of us, but that's pretty much why we'll be, you know, those of us, the message for those of us that take card of one. A lot of, also I see happy times and just the need to be happy and enthusiastic. I feel like you're going through a lot of karmic cycles. <clears throat> Those of us that take card one, two. So I just feel like it's like a, like an energy of a repetition, page of wands, page of pentacles, new, new, new. You know what I'm saying? Like, so get ready. I feel like it's going to be a lot of clarity this time around with what you're creating and what's been destroyed here for those of us that have picked pile one, you know, stepping into the new day, the new game, the new legacy of what we now want to see happening for our future. I feel like part of it too was the healing journey for those of us that picked uh, pile one, card one. You know, the healing journey was a huge part of why we were destroying a lot of things to get to where we are today. Um, but for the most part, this is a really pretty pleasant message for those of you who picked card one. A lot of self-discovery on what we destroyed with the goddess Kali's message. Card two, we have a resurrection with the goddess Isis. Let's get the messages for the goddess Isis. What do we have here, Spirit? I love this card. This card is just so dope. Sick. <clears throat> Spirit, what are the messages for the goddess Isis and resurrection? Card two. Messages for card two, Spirit. Goddess Isis represents resurrection. She's the one that can bring stuff from being all the way dead back to life. I feel like definitely those of us that picked card two. It's like we have this ability here to resurrect things and bring them back to life, you know? I feel like there's a choice, though. Sometimes we don't always make the best, what we think is the best choice. But I feel like sometimes that's because we're just rushing. I feel like we're still discovering a major part of who we are. Those of us who picked part two, card two, because it's like you're resurrecting the soul, you know. And you, it's not incomplete because... You aren't transforming in the speed or in the pace that you probably feel like you should be going, you know, Nine of Pentacles. Oftentimes in a Nine of Pentacles space, we feel like we, we aren't, we're getting there, but just not quickly enough. And so you have to remember kind of this 
effort to kind of persevere in the Nine of Pentacles <clears throat> amidst what's happening. And there are so many choices, I feel like, for those of us who pick card two that we're still making to discover ourselves. The temperance talks about patience, you know. Just balanced overall. Really stable and secure foundation. Because you've gone through situations and you know that life just sometimes is happening fast. Sometimes it's happening slow. But at any rate, you know, you need to keep a constant pace, right? So when you've been doing it long enough, you already know the flow of it. So it's reminding you to keep that natural flow of everything and to be patient with yourself in a journey while you're resurrected. Because remember, Isis comes and something has died so many Parts of us did, in fact, die with the death here, right? But they died so that we could be reborn. Parts of us could be reborn. And it's not like they died necessarily so much as they needed to be revived, brought back to life. The life from it had, had faded. So Isis was coming in on some divine, you know, goddess-ish, right? And I mean, that's really what it is, what we needed. Those of us that pick card too, right? We needed that divine assistance from the goddess in resurrection, right? And I feel like that's happening pretty quickly for those of us with this Nine of Swords energy. It's just the good Libra energy, you know? When we're ready to finally make that decision, right? It's going to happen fast. The resurrection can finally happen quickly when we're ready. But it's not going to happen until we're ready. You know, those of us that pick card two, two, this is about our, our patience because it's not that we're not ready. It's just that we're moving in our own time. And that means something because now we're finally listening to ourselves so that we don't get to those places where we die and we feel like we are dying, you know, inside, we missing something or, or there's an incomplete or something like that, you know. We're learning how to be fulfilled through the things that we're doing, the processes, all of it, the whole journey, right? Learning again as a collective here, those of us who pick pile two, that message I was talking about, also those of us who pick pile two, definitely check out that message that I posted on the channel, the shadow report. Because um, this is just really about discovering, you know, life is about living. And that's really the joy, the true reward, right? And I think that's overall what Pile 2 is discovering in the resurrection. That it was never about making everything perfect, but just the existence of, which was the ma main blessing. And then all the other things were just extra fillers to the main course. So, be patient with yourself. Those of you who pick pile two, as um, I think you'll definitely be learning some major things about what transformation really means to you, you know, um, as well as how to make decisions to not feel like, you know, they hold you back so much, but take them for what they are, like it's decisions and it's not so serious, and, you know, so uh, let's see, Lilith's message, those of us who picked card three, let's go into that. Lilith's messages. Those of us who picked card three, what's the quality? What does Lilith want us to know? Thank <laughs> you. 
about three messages for you the inequality. So Lilith talks about equality and fairness because that was the main message with her and her legacy and what she left behind. You know, equality for, you know, kind of that good for the goose, good for the gander, kind of where that came from with Lilith. You know what I'm saying? To be quite honest. Um, so, anyways. Not anyways, but more so, yeah. So, that's kind of where that equality they're talking about, you know. So, this is about us finding that and discovering that within ourselves, right? Honoring all parts of us. I feel like Lilith wants to come in and tell us, like, how if we honor all parts of us, we can have abundance. And until we do, you know, there'll be kind of like these, like, changes that we, we, we don't want, but that'll keep bringing us closer to finally setting our soul free and equality and honoring every aspect of our, ourselves, our lives, etc., yeah, that's the justice. I promise you. Justice, equality. <sighs> yeah, so the messages like are like pretty self-explanatory. I love it tonight. <clears throat> equality. Lilith just wants you to have justice in your life. There's things from our past here, those of us that pick part uh pile three, card three that we'll be discovering and we'll be finally laying the burdens down. We'll be finally able to rest these burdens that's been hanging on to us forever since, like I said, childhood. And this makes it, because this happens because we're in a space where we can finally say, I honor the dark, I honor the light, I honor this whatever that every part and aspect of me i honor it so it's like whenever change comes now it's like we're in a space of gratitude like thank you life for bringing that change because there was obviously something that needed to be changed up or some sort of risk taken in order for me to gain more and, and, and have more of a reward here. And sometimes that might not always be the case, but me being able to accept, you know what I'm saying, all parts of my life and me makes it a lot easier of a pill to digest. And that's really what's most healthy because life can't always be peaches and cream. So those of us who pick pile three, it's like us discovering the equality. What does that mean as a whole for the individual? How can we be equal with all parts of ourselves, right? And the more that we get closer to that, the more we can celebrate. You know, three of cups coming in upside down. It's like we're missing the celebration because we're not being, we're not fully able to liberate the soul through equality, through celebrating it equally in justice, right? So whenever that's happening, that's because of the resistance that we are showing towards life, you know, in ourselves, right? So keep that in mind, those of us who picked card three, you know, when we're not being equal to ourselves or other people, right? That that's how that, that feels, you know, like an injustice because it truly an injustice for any part of us is an injustice for us all as a whole, right? Is it not? So we we have to get to that place. And when we're getting to that place, those of us who pick pile three, which obviously that was just the energy you were, you're in, you know, um, it's going to force us to reflect on equality and what does that mean to us, you know, 
And again, it's just laying down the burdens of what we felt like we had to hold on to. But that was only because we weren't being fair to all parts of ourselves. So once we say, okay, I'm going to be fair to all parts of us, now, now all parts of ourselves can lay down the burden. Because these certain parts of us couldn't lay down the burden because they felt like they were being um, in secret or they weren't being seen or they weren't being acknowledged, right? And again, from childhood, you learned that. And so breaking that cycle in a, adulthood, young adulthood, whatever you want to call this phase, um, <clears throat> again, just brings back the justice that your soul deeply desires. Because it wants to be free. It wants equality. You know, and Lilith is here definitely to deliver that message. All right, so those of us who picked pile three, that's what I got. Let me know how you guys like these messages. All right, peace.